cut the tube a bit more. I put a cap on both ends. I finished the two upper joints, which are perfect now. I added this to the PTFE, where the pneumatic insertion thing is. So, I created this larger tube block, the one that is 23 and a half. Now this one already rises like this. Now I will fix it in the little holes here. I will put it here. The spring pins are arriving tomorrow. I will make a hole, or I will put a screw that tightens here. Now I need to see if it can hold the weight with the four spools and doesn't wobble. This is fixed. One, two screws here, and another screw here. This is part of the Maker World project, and I had made the long rod, as you saw earlier, but I didn't like it. I tried to make it smaller, and it disappeared, so there is a slide, a 20 millimeter tube that fits into a 20 millimeter and three and a half tube. It's a bit of a mess, huh? I bought the hooks on Amazon. These little hooks. Here, let's see. From the mess, so it's clearer. These have a spring and are made of steel. I need to recreate the mechanism. I drilled a hole of six, so it fits inside. The spring is pushed with a stick or something. And then I'm testing if it works. If you press it a little, it goes and pushes. And this should hold well, because it's steel. To remove it, it's the classic mechanism used in camping chairs and tables. You grab it and pull it up. Good, good. A step forward. In order to advance the space, Effectively, we have the capability to both insert and remove the spools, as needed. This flexibility allows us to make precise adjustments. To ensure accuracy, I will make a mark. Initially, I considered placing this mark at a different location, but after careful consideration, I have decided to position it exactly 7 centimeters inside the larger tube. This specific measurement is crucial for the alignment and functionality of the entire setup. By marking at this point, we can ensure that the spools are positioned correctly, which is essential for the overall operation. The decision to mark at 7 centimeters was made after evaluating various factors, including the dimensions of the tube and the requirements of the project. This precise marking will guide us in maintaining the necessary space and alignment for optimal performance. So here, I will make my first hole of approximately 6 cm. And after that, we will make another hole here. In front, also 6 cm, but a bit wider. In total, I have already cut the tubes to size. A metal saw is enough for the metal, as you can see. Now I will give you the exact measurements of these tubes. These are precisely 23.5 by 23.5. And these are exactly 20, 19 and something. Anyway, I will write down all the measurements once cut, step by step. Now we can make the holes to create the stop. The pin for the stop to lift it, making it extendable so that it locks in place and remains fixed, thus not moving, as expected. You see if they are equal, nicely done, perfect. Now the spring comes out well, see. We need to insert it. It's the slightly more difficult part. It needs to be compressed. I put it underneath. I have to go outside anyway. I just need to go and do this simple task for the snap to insert it properly, ensuring that everything is aligned perfectly 
so I can make it as straight and precise as possible. Here it is, and now I help myself with a small piece of wood, carefully and gently pushing it until they fit together seamlessly and securely. This process requires patience and attention to detail as I meticulously adjust each component to ensure a perfect fit, leaving no room for error or misalignment. Look, I had to find, there it is. It's gone, perfect. Now I'll put the other one in as well. I'm starting the other one too. Slowly. Let's see if this arrives as well. Just the push of oil. There is a little bit of a gap. Don't push too hard or it will get stuck. This is how it stays. And now you need to make the two larger ones. And then it will make the snap. In order to achieve the desired outcome, I need to ensure that I have approximately 24 units, excluding the protective plastic tube that covers the lid of the tube. Specifically, I would require 23 units at the point where the final tape is located, or perhaps 23 and a half, which is nearly 24, to accommodate the hole. This is because we are dealing with a measurement of around 3 centimeters, taking into account the dimensions of all the rubber components involved. To ensure a proper fit, I have slightly expanded the opening using the trap mechanism. This adjustment allows for a more precise alignment to fit, ensuring that all components are securely in place. Now it's perfect. Let's do the testing here. So I would do it like this. I press. The swing go. I press. I bring it back to the beginning. Good. We are moving forward with the project. The extended the leg. I call them the leg. And four. The socket. Let's carefully, securely, and precisely put in the screw and thoroughly. This is the stop. To create this pen down support, you will need one and two bars of one meter. They sell 20x20 for a thickness of 1.5 mm. And the second is 23.5 pex 23.5, also 1.5 mil. If you can't find them in your country, consider modifying the widths of 3D printed objects. These are all the distances. This is the spring you will buy. I will put the link in the video. You have seen how to assemble it. A hole of 6 mm should be made 4.8 cm from the left side and the length should be cut to 31.2. You will always need to make two pieces. On this side, you need to make a hole of 3.5 mm, and then with the threading of 4 at 1.3 cm. A hole should be made here. We can make a hole of 3.5 mm, and then enlarge it to 4 to screw in the screws, which are all 4. You need to screw in the 4mm screws. With a 2cm distance for the edge length of 31.5 and a 6mm hole for the spring to fit inside with a distance of 1.8cm from the outside to the inside. Then we have this for releasing the spring. I will also provide this file in the 3D print, two pieces of these, 
are already prepared with holes, screws with 4 mm bolts and caps to place on the smaller tube. Two of these with clips that lock the two feet with a 4 mm screw. The largest tube takes the foot in 3D printing, push it all the way down and take its 4 mm screw, which is the 18, to slightly lift the part where the foot is under the ground. Now let's fit it underneath. We take this piece and two pins. In the file, I designed two round recessed parts that fit right in there and interlock perfectly. Insert these two pins that will lock the piece and secure the foot and the bar. Now let's take the tube. The tube should be inserted here. Take a shot. Just one. Another shot. I start to place it here. Push. The first screw and two more screws to secure the top part. Let's put two small screws at the back. The assembly has been done. Just pull up. You see two pins. One is there and the other is here. You can easily change the filaments without any trouble. It is taken from above with one hand, pressed a bit inside, pulled down, changed. Then the other pin is pressed down and pulled down.